So in this question, what I have given to you, allocated and a portion OA, and here see, you have in this question four departments. Then here they have given allocated and a portion OA. Then you think carefully, how many steps they have already done, how many steps they have already completed in this particular question. Allocation is done, and apportionment also done. That means first two steps are already completed. Then you have some service centers. Then what is the step number three? You have to make your service center zero. Then what is the next step? It is the reapportionment step. So from this question, what we are going to learn is how to do the reapportionment. If you have two service centers. And if they have provided interdepartment services, that means one service department is providing service for another service department. So in this method, what you have to understand, this is equation method. You have to construct two equations. So that's the most important thing. Then first of all, let me write down the values for each department. Department X. I'll do it over somewhere here. Department X, Department Y, and you have stores and you have maintenance. Department X seventy thousand, Department Y thirty thousand, stores twenty thousand, and maintenance fifteen thousand. Okay. So what we are going to do? We are going to make this stores and maintenance zero. Using what method? Using equation method. So here we have to construct equations. How to do it? Listen carefully. So let me construct the equation for the store department first. Then let me write down the services provided by the each department. Also the services. If you take stores, store is providing service for three departments, X, Y, and for the maintenance. Maintenance is providing service for three departments. What are the three departments? X, Y, and the stores. Okay. So store is providing fifty percent, thirty percent, and twenty percent. Maintenance is providing forty-five percent, forty percent, and fifteen percent. Okay. Then let me construct the formula for the stores first. So here I am writing store. Here I am writing. Store, okay. S T O. So if you take store department, store department itself. If not, I'll take it as S. I'll take it as S. Okay. So I'll write the S like this. Don't forget. Here, this is S. Okay. It's not the dollar sign. It's not five. It's S because when we are proceeding with the question, you will get confused. Like this as five. This is not five. Okay. This is not dollar sign. This is S. Okay. S equals. If you take S department itself has a cost. How much is that cost? Store department itself has a cost of how much? Twenty thousand US dollars. Okay. But that is not the only cost store department has. That is not the only cost store department has. Maintenance department, what they are doing from their cost, a forty-five percent is transferred to X. From maintenance cost, a forty percent is transferred to Y. From maintenance cost, from maintenance department's cost, a fifteen percent is transferred to stores. So fifteen percent of maintenance cost also transferred to stores. Then what you have to understand. Store department itself has a cost of twenty thousand, but that is not the only cost. Why is that? Maintenance department is transferring fifteen percent of maintenance cost to the store department. Then let me construct the equation for the maintenance department also. I'll do it over here. If you take maintenance department, maintenance department itself has a cost of how much? Fifteen thousand. Maintenance department itself has a cost of fifteen thousand, but that is not the only cost. Because store is transferring a fifty percent cost to X, 
sto is transferring a 30% cost to y sto is transferring a 20% of its cost to maintenance so from the store department's cost so this is s don't forget from store department's cost a 20% is transferred to maintenance so let me let me write the formula in an easy way the store department cost equals 20000 plus 15% of maintenance cost so i'll write it as 0.15 m if you take maintenance maintenance has a cost of 15000 but that is not the only cost because from the stores store department is transferring a 20% cost to maintenance so it is 0.2 what is this s don't forget store department's cost 20% now let me substitute the formulas and let me finish off the calculation so store equals s equals 20000 plus 0.15 into instead of writing m i would substitute this entire equation so m is equals 15000 plus 0.2 s this is s don't forget then s equals 20000 plus 0.15 into 15000 how much is that 0.15 into 15000 it is 2250 plus 0.15 into 0.2 how much is that 0.15 into 0.2 i am getting a value of 0.03 what is this s okay then s equals 20000 22000 s equals 22250 plus 0.03 this is s okay then s if you take this 0.03 s other side it will become minus 0.03 s it is how much 22250 so from this part the management accounting is done now what you are doing is mathematics so these are basic maths that ideally you should know then s minus 0.03 s normally before any value you have the number 1 okay so 1 s minus 0.03 s how much is that 0.97 s how much is that 22250 then s is equals how much 22250 if you take this 0.97 other side it will become a division then s equals how much 22250 divided by 0.97 i am getting 22938 22938 1422938.14 22938.14 now i can find the value for m also m equals 15000 plus 0.2 instead of s i am going to use this 22938.14 22938.14 then m equals how much 15000 plus 0.2 into 22938.14 then i am getting a value of 19587.63 19587.63 then what next that you should do is listen carefully you have to split this cost based on the service percentage that they are providing so for the x they are providing 50% for the y they are providing 30% for the stores they are providing for the maintenance for the maintenance they are providing 20% okay here also same you have to split this cost based on the service that they are providing x y and to the stores okay x 45% y 40% to the stores 15% then let me get the value 22938.14 into 50% i am getting a value of 
11,469.07 and 30% means how much it is 6,881.44 and 20% means how much it is 4587.63 then you have to deduct this amount 22938.14 and you have to transfer these amounts accordingly 11469.07 6881.44 and 4587.63 okay now let's do this particular 19587.63 into 45 percent i am getting a value of 8814.43 and 40 percent i am getting a value of 7835.05 and 15 percent i am getting a value of 29 2938.14 so let's transfer those amounts accordingly here 19587.63 okay from that 8814.43 for the x and 7835.05 for the y and 2938.14 for the stores then let me get the totals value now totals so here how much i am getting 70000 plus 11469.07 plus 8814.43 i am getting a value of 90283 283.50 here let's calculate it for y also 30,000 plus 6881.44 plus 7835.05. I am getting a value of 44,716.49. Then for the store department, this is positive, this is positive, this is negative. Then if you take the total value, it will become zero. So this is positive, this is positive, this is negative. If you take the total value, it will become zero. Then here see in store department your value is 0, the maintenance department value is 0. So we have achieved our objective. We wanted to make our stores and maintenance 0, so we made it 0. How did we reapportion our cost in this particular method? It is equation method, if not algebraic method. So you have to construct two equations and you have to transfer the amounts accordingly. A factory consists of two production department P and Q and two service department X and Y and allocated and apportioned overhead is given. So allocated and apportioned overhead that means step number one is done, step number two is done. Then what's my objective is going to be making X and Y zero. So they have given the percentages and after the reapportionment, okay, they are asking us to use the reciprocal method and they are asking the total overhead cost of production department P. So they are asking us to use the reciprocal method. You can use either method 1 or method 2, but use the method 2 because it will save your time, which is the equation method. Then let me write the figures P, Q, X, Y, 95,000, 30,000. So we have to make uh, X and Y zero. So let me write down the percentage of service that they have provided. X is providing service for three department P, Q and Y. Y is providing service for three departments P, Q and X. So 40%, 40%, 20%, 40%, 40%, 20%, 20%. Here 30%, 60%, 10%. 30%, 60%, 10%. Okay. Then let me construct the equations. Let me construct the equations. Okay. Then if you take department X, X itself has a cost of 46,000 plus. Now you have to see the other department. Y. Y is transferring 10% of the cost to X. So from the Y's cost, from the Y's cost, a 10% is transferred to X. 
So let me do it for Y also. Y department itself has a cost of 30,000. Now look at the other department. X is transferring 20% of cost from the X cost, a 20% is transferred to Y. So simple as that. So always take the department that you are considering and look at the other department. Simple as that. Then X equals 46,000 plus 0 0.1 Y. Here Y equals 30,000 plus 0.2 X. 0.2 X. So I'll write it other way around in the proper way. Here 20% of X. Okay. Then X equals 46,000 plus 0 0.1 Y. Instead of Y, I'll substitute with this formula 30,000 plus 0 0.2 X. Then X equals 46,000 plus 0 0.1 into 30,000. It is 3,000 plus 0 0.1 into 0 0.2. It is 0 0.02 X. Then X equals 49,000 plus 0.02 X. So if you take this 0.02 X other side, X minus 0.02 X is equals 49,000. Then here you are getting 0.98 X is equals 49,000. Then X is equals 49,000 divided by 0.98. Then X is equals how much? 49,000 divided by 0 0.98. I am getting a value of 50,000. For the X, I am getting a value of 50,000. So let me do it for the Y also. 30,000 plus 0 0.2 into 50,000 because we found the X value. Then Y equals 30,000 plus 0 0.2. So here directly let me get the answer. I can get the answer directly. Then here 30,000 plus 0.2 into 50,000. I am getting a value of how much? 40,000 US dollars. I am getting a value of 40,000 US dollars. Then I will have to split this particular cost based on the service that they, that they have provided. P, Q and for the Y. And here P, Q and for the X. So 40%. 40% and 20% here 30% 60% and 10% so 40% is how much 20,000 here 20,000 here 10,000 here 30% how much is that 12,000 and here it is 18,000 and here it is 4,000 okay so let's transfer the X value. How much is that 50,000? We are going to transfer 50,000 out of that 20,000 here and 20,000 here and 10,000 here. Here we are going to transfer 40,000. Okay. Out of that 12,000 here and 18,000 here and 4,000 here. Okay. So let me take the total values since they are asking only P I can do only P but I am not going to do like that because I want to give you the proper knowledge so I am doing the entire calculation 95,000 plus 20,000 plus 12,000 I am getting a value of 127,000 Q how much I am getting 82,000 plus 20,000 plus 18,000 I am getting a value of 120,000 and here plus 46,000 plus 4,000 50,000 50,000 minus 50,000 it is 0 plus 30,000 10,000 40,000 here it is 0 so somehow we made our service centers 0 then here what's the final answer that you are getting they are asking for the department P in P department how much is the uh, total overhead cost that you have 127,000 so your answer is there in which option it is then option D